<laughs> okay, it is dubbed the silent killer, but new research indicates that heart attacks may give us more warning than we actually realise. For men at least, it's a warning that often goes unheeded. Yeah, for more information on that, we're joined in Brisbane by Dr Steve Hamilton. He's president of the AMA. Doctor, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, this is a silent killer, I guess. What are some of the warning signs that the US study has found? Well, it is a silent killer, and uh, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of people in the world. And people do get a bit of warning before they have a heart attack, and um, more than half of men have reported that they did have some chest pain, uh, they had some shortness of breath, or they had palpitations or dizziness. And those things should be taken seriously, particularly if you've got risk factors. Now, you're overweight, you might have smoked, you know, you may have diabetes, you may have a family history of heart disease. All of those people should be very, very careful. Why do you think sometimes men don't go and seek medical help, even if they do have those symptoms? Well, men do tend to minimise their symptoms. I guess they're not comfortable going to the doctors and actually getting things checked out. People do put it down to, to minor causes. But, you know, if you get that chest pain when you're exercising and it goes away when you rest, if you get uh, palpitations, your heart thumping in the chest and you, and you don't understand why, it's always better to get it checked. If you have a cardiac arrest in the community, there's something like a 10% chance of survival. Unless someone uh, does CPR on you, you get a defibrillation very early on. So CPR is very good, but be careful. Those warning signs are coming, you better get some help. Is it because those warning signs can be quite subtle that people don't know that this is happening, do you think? Well, they can be quite subtle. I mean, the chest pain, the typical chest pain for a heart attack is like a heavy weight on your chest. Uh, maybe go up to the jaw, may go down your arm. But sometimes it's not, particularly with diabetics. They may not get all those symptoms and it may just feel like indigestion. But if it's indigestion that's related to exercise and not meals, uh, we should take that a lot more seriously. Doctor, now this latest warning has been prompted by some findings from a US study. Take us through that study. Well, the US study, they did look at people who had uh, community-based um, heart attacks and they found that 56% of those people had warning signs up to a month before they had that, that cardiac arrest. Uh, they, they, in that study as well, the, the second most common symptom was that, was that uh, dizziness and shortness of breath. And anxiety is a very important symptom in a heart attack. And the anxiety is often, you know, fear of impending death. So it's really unusually severe anxiety. The other people in that study had palpitations, but something like a month before their heart attack, uh, they had warning signs that if they had taken heed of them, uh, they may have been able to prevent that heart attack in the first place. Thanks so much for your time this morning, Doctor. Um, we'll try and keep abreast of that as uh, more developments in that study come out. The thing is, it's not just that sometimes those symptoms are quite subtle, it's yes. also that a lot of the times men are very stubborn about seeing a doctor. Um, and you see it, I've seen it with my father, we see it with, you know, a lot of people of that certain generation, men just 